Constraining movement is important in all glassing because it allows you to see more movement from the game. So let's hit that in the context of short range glassing. I'm looking for tiny movements. Think about small bird flickers. We all see those constantly, a Tweety taking flight. That's about the same movement you are going to see from game in close quarters. Tail wags, cud chewing, ear wiggles, head turns. Because bedded animals move less, I stop for longer periods of time with my optic, right? You generally see movement when the optic is still not panning, right? So if you grid pan or whatever, um, when you're glassing typically, you're gonna need to stop for longer periods of time. I also stop when glassing big country, but generally only for 10 to 15 seconds. If I'm glassing a thick bedding area, I might have the optic stationary for 45 seconds to a minute before I continue to pan. 